today we're going to be talking about margins and how accountants can improve their margins. Hi, my name is Gordon De Silva. I'm a multi-award winning chartered accountant. I run a very successful accountancy practice in Wimbledon and London. And uh, we have, uh, like I said, won awards. We're in the uh, top uh, quartile, certainly, for our earnings. And uh, I have uh, created plenty of time and space for me to develop other businesses like this mentoring business for accountants. We have run a mentoring business for clients, and uh, we also uh, have a couple of other, you know, I enjoy my holidays, I spend between uh, 12 and 16 weeks, some 10 and 16 weeks a year uh, on, uh, on traveling and, and seeing new places and ticking off my bucket list, uh, and I have the, I've earned the financial security that uh, a well-run accountancy practice uh, can afford. So that's enough about why you know, maybe uh, you should listen to, to me on this blog. Let's get stuck in. Hi, today this blog is about margins again. I think we've had a couple of other blogs on margins. And on this particular blog, I'd like to talk a lot about a, a technique we use that I think uh, would be very useful for many practices, hopefully yours as well, which uh, I've, heard, I've, heard, I've heard before many times, but I haven't seen applied very many times in the practices I talk to, uh, practices I work with uh, until we start off on the Profit Multiplier Program for accountants. And that is 10-minute uh, stand-up meetings. Uh, a 10-minute stand-up meeting is exactly what it, what it says on the tin. It's a meeting that lasts a maximum, an absolute maximum of 10 minutes, which means everyone's going to come prepared. And uh, the 10-minute the meeting has a team involved. Now, it could be your whole team. If it's not a very big team, if there's you know, 5 to 10 people in the team, then that's fine. If it's a much bigger team, then you need to probably break it up into pods, into the specific teams. You may get one or two people common to, to different teams. For example, the, uh, the assistant to the team, the secretary to the team, the partners on the team, the managers on the teams. So you may have those in common, so they may attend um, you know, maybe two or more uh, of these uh, stand-up meetings every day. And uh, typically they're held first thing in the morning and they're geared to make sure that everyone knows what they're doing and that they're doing the right things, they know how important they are, uh, what the things they're doing are, they report on what happened the previous day, they report on any challenges they may be facing that, that uh, need help or input on from, from other team members, maybe the, sec the, the team secretary or the virtual assistant or the partner or uh, whoever, a tax department maybe, and, uh, and then that is then taken away action and set in an action plan and they go away and do their stuff. And what that does in our experience is it focuses the mind, it gets everyone together on a more regular basis. Like I said, it's only 10 minutes, it's stand up, so no one's getting comfortable and really you know, having long chats. They're, everyone's got a maximum of a minute each to report on what they did yesterday, what went well, what need, what's happening today, and what, uh, uh, can, can, what needs help on, and, uh, or any challenges they face. And in one minute, you know, anything that faces then taken away in action is we don't do it on a group and have a big discussion everyone's aware of what everyone else is doing and if there's some crossover or some uh, synergy you know there's there's room for for change in the plan so that that is a 10 up and a 10 minute meeting now if you don't have a, a 10 minute uh, stand up meeting i'd like you to consider having one i'd like you to not consider and that's a well i've considered before if it didn't work that is not good enough uh, for my liking. On the Profit Multiplier program, for accountants, you'll know that I don't uh, just stand back and go, you know, if somebody just says, oh, you know, it didn't work for us, I don't just accept that on face value. I just say, well, that's very interesting. What did you do? How did you do it? What did you try? What didn't work about it? What would you like to see happen? And then we make it work. Because they do work, and I've seen them work. They've worked for my business, and uh, where we've implemented them with, uh, with other businesses, it works just fine. And. Uh, I'd like you to sort of think about, if you haven't implemented it yet, and if you have, obviously you don't need to worry, is it working really well for you? Let me know on the, on the blog, send me an email or something, or send, put a comment on how well your 10 minute, work, minute, minute work, meetings are working, uh, what, what the benefits are of it. If you haven't, then I'd like you to consider seriously why you wouldn't have one of these, because it is critical. Even if you're out on site, you may have that pod having a, stand -up, a 10 minute stand up meeting, there's a team there. If there's an individual, maybe they stand up, they go outside into reception or outside and uh, have a 10 minute stand up meeting on a mobile phone uh, on speaker with the rest of the team to, to debrief them one minute, remember, per person. 
And so it is a way of creating synergy within a team, within a pod, within a group, within a firm, and making sure there's no wasted effort, no uh, duplication of effort, no wasted time or, or things that get missed for too long, because all of that costs a lot of money. And you know, time is money, especially in our profession where we charge, you know, maybe we don't charge for time, but we are charged for time by our team. And so it's important we get things out for fast. So there, therein is the, uh, the, the potential of the, of the thing. If you get it right, uh, your efficiency increases. And you know, if, you're if your efficiency increases by f just 5% as a result of this, what would be the impact of, uh, your, on your profitability? Because that 5% that goes straight to your bottom line. So if you get a 5% increase in margin, just because you're more efficient and effective in running your, your projects, that's 5% straight to the bottom line, uh, and that is just lovely. Uh, it's, what, it's what allows us to earn the money we do because we get things right, we plan things right. And of course, it leads to a much happier client because the client gets the job done better and quicker and faster and easier. And, uh, and as a result, the client is happier, you, get, you make a better margin, you earn more money. The team is happy because there's less frustration and, and uh, you know, everything, is, there's just so many upsides. If you get it wrong, your margins stay tight, tight you, your earnings stay insufficient, your frustration level grows and you don't enjoy running your business uh, as much as you should. Uh, you don't get the rewards that you deserve uh, as a hard-working accountant. I know, you know I've been an accountant and practice for over 30 years and uh, you know, I love the profession, I owe a lot to the profession and this is my way of putting a little bit back in these blogs. Now, let somebody else hear this, let your team hear this, let your partners hear this, uh, you know, help them, help, it may help them come on board with this. Uh, if you think that what we do might be right for your practice on the Profit Multiplier program for accountants, what I'd love to do is have you watch a few more blogs. You know, we, we, would, we would like, before you contact us, you watch at least five or six of our blogs and, and hear a little bit about me because uh, I want you to know what you're getting into when you, when you first contact us. You and I haven't got time to sort of chew the fat for an hour or two. We're both busy people. So by getting an idea of what I'm about and, and uh, how I'm all about action and uh, you know, being pushy to help to get action in your business, to get you improving your results, if you understand that before you pick up the phone, then we're going to, then it's going to be a much simpler process of conversation. We have a 10 minute process first. We have a 10 minute call. You ask me some questions, I ask you some questions. We identify whether there's some synergy to take on to another longer free session we call our impact session. Uh, this session may last 35 to 45 minutes. It will identify the um, synergy between us. It'll identify you know, some, some tactics that you may want to be uh, applying in your business. It'll identify whether we can work together and, and what that might look like. And uh, all being well, we can start working together. If not, we part part you with, set you in the right direction and give you some pointers so uh, I'll leave you with that thought don't forget if you like it please share it please uh, click the like button um, share with other accountants that you think might benefit and of course uh, give us some comments on what you think about it if you're already running this let us know if you're not and you'd like to you know, tell us how, that you intend to do it and when you're going to implement it by having a deadline is always important it's part of our three by three by three matrix we use in our profit multiplier program uh, for accountants. So uh, let me leave you with those thoughts. I wish you every success in your practice. Uh, it's uh, I enjoy making these blogs. Hopefully you enjoy consuming them as much as I enjoy making them for you. And uh, until we speak, it's a small world. We'll probably meet at a conference or something or on our uh, profit multiplier program uh, for accountant session. Uh, and uh, until then, goodbye.